<sighs> Woo! Woo! I hear that thing. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Baz Plumbing. Couple things for you today, we've got Service and Ideologic, which were a nightmare. Uh, and stick around to the end, because I'm gonna give away this cane analyzer. Let's go. Service every year. How? Well, all I can do is be best in it, so. What I think is recharge expansion. So I'll get the condenser strap out and I'll strip out the front there, the, uh, the lid. And that's all I can do, really, to be honest. If it ever breaks down, for now, I'm going to get in there. Check this out, new purchase. This is a pop up bowl. Stores nice and well done. That gets in. About fibre on Amazon. Sweet. Yeah, so there's something wrong here. So I'm pumping. The gauge is going up, so we're not draining properly. That's what's up. So I've resorted to draining it from the uh, actual drain pump, which I don't like. For some reason it's not coming through there, so whatever. As long as it's draining, I don't mind. Into one. Really need to get one of those Milwaukee uh, inflators, those digital ones. They look pretty cool. I don't know why I even got one to be honest. Yes, bit. Or LDF if you if you're not a dirty bugger like me. Let's strip the fan out. The conveyor and let's get lid off. Well, this isn't annoying at all. Right, so this new version. Circle of away. Gonna allow this tube to pull up like that. So now what we want to do get on there and pull this fan out. That's a weird eight mil. It's perfect on this back nut. There she blows. So now what should happen is the fan just lifts up, sits on that little bracket there, and then we go. We're off. So from the nut driver. The Wii Rate no spanner. Wrong way. Mind it out. That one. Really get on the front ones. So a bit of screws out. Lift it. Spin it forward. Pull it out of the side there. You see what I did? So start, so start flat, pick it up, bring it around. Is that out of there? Well, got a phantom screw there. I'll look into that. So, this is the downward firing burner. So check the seal. This one looks alright. Now you're looking for like cracks, things like that there that if you want to be replacing the seal. Uh, looking for cracks in the actual burner. Looks alright to me. Using a soft brush. That's as soft as I've got. Just run it across. <laughs> Not too bad. Little sums up on this side, but it's not correct or anything, so I'm good to that. So, the logics. I don't like to take the electrodes out because 
I don't like replacing that seal every time. There's a new graphite seal there. You know, I have to change it every single time. So the beauty of them is, you can clean them in situ. So you can see here, uh, lighting. Not too shabby, so I'm going to use the brush. I'm just going to clean them up. Yeah. 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 Obviously replace the seal if you see it all like split and, uh, and hang down and things, but for me, that's fine. And I will check it with you afterwards. I'll try this not to soak the electrodes in there. And that's seen on Friday. He's run out of, runs out of milk on his cereal, doesn't he? His dad comes in and he's like, Better put some water on that damn shit. Hey, we ain't even got no milk. You better put some water on that damn shit. Right, so let's get this uh, this Venturi out. Well, look at that. So we've got the hair grease or something. Like that. Yeah, it's pretty gross. So what I'm going to do? I'm clean this up. What this can cause? This can cause whistling sometimes. So if you get a problem. Yeah, the customer rings you up and says whistling. Always check this first. Let's get this cleaned up. Let's have a quick look at fan blades. Let's move the brush. Never really had a problem with them, but I always give them a little scrub, can you? Why not? So I'm just turning the blades and scrubbing them as they go around. You can take it apart there if you like, but I can't see point. So back in the way I showed you. So facing down, come round, round corner, hold on to it, find it in. Twist it in guys, like that. I'm absolutely. Sway made off, it's red on this cup. See, I'm tightening up here. Right, left, front, right. Just keep it nice and even so it's not lifting anywhere. Right, quick tip as well. If this isn't sat in its bracket properly, but you tighten it up. And what you'll get is you'll make it you'll make a big on start up like make a big washing noise. So make sure it's sat in the bracket and tighten it up properly on that note with your eight mark. Yeah, the difficult bit. I'm gonna get condensed strap out somehow now, aren't I? For fuck's sake. Got him out without soaking everything. What an absolute pig that was. Absolutely drenched in sweat now. So yeah, I had to do it. This gap. So as you can imagine, put the bastard in the air. Right then, so now that's it back together. So as usual, I'm gonna turn camera off, I'm gonna do my uh, do my checks, my FGA, do my 26.9, I'm gonna do my gas checks. I don't like to do them on camera for you pesky DIY people. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I didn't. I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, that job. 
you know, it just winds me up that the amount of combis that we see in, in uh, well, I don't know about anybody else's area, but especially around my area, West Yorkshire, they're just absolutely thrown into pieces. And not only that, because they're thrown in so badly, people are building cupboards around them and build them in a manner where you can't service the bloody things. You know, that boiler there has apparently been serviced for four years and I've come in here and the lady says, oh, so I've never seen anybody take so long on it. Which is one of those things, isn't it? you know, like, yeah, I'm not like a hero or anything, I'm just trying to do my job properly, but it just winds you up like, you know, couldn't get that cover down couldn't really get into the bottom of there, see what, you know, any problems. Luckily, I just got the condensate strap out, you know, but, God, it just winds me up. But she, well, it's put me in a proper stinky mood now. It got me thinking about, you know, I might have been having a bad day, but, you know, there's plenty of other people out there that are uh, much worse off than I am, especially at the minute with uh, COVID, etc. going on. Um, people getting furloughed, people not knowing if they're coming back to jobs. You know, it's a nightmare out there, isn't it, end of the day? So I put on Facebook that afternoon, I put on Facebook and uh, my Instagram um, at Parks Plumbing Plug, um, that I wanted to give my old analyzer away. So this is the Kane 455. Um, needs calibrating, but it just sits in my cupboard doing nothing. So I thought, you know, it might be better off. Well, it will be better off in, in somebody else's hands that, that needs it at the minute. So I asked them to do send me a message, a DM, or put in the comments um, a reason why they really need it. Um, you know, van theft. They might have had the stuff nicked out of the van. You know, they might be furloughed, something like that. So I asked them to leave it in the DMs. I got hundreds of inquiries. Um, sifted through them all over a couple of days, and I found a lad from down south. I don't need to name him. You know. Um, his story was he was furloughed in March um, from his job and then just before that he had his analyzer nicked out of his van and the employer wouldn't replace it which is a bit of a dick move really to be honest um, on top of that his missus is pregnant and he doesn't know when work's going to start up again so he's in a bit of a pickle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it out to you box it up send it um, if you post in the Facebook groups in Gas Chat, I think it was Tom from Kane Analyzers, he's going to service it, calibrate it for you for free, and get you back up and running. So that, that's me. Shout out to Kane Analyzers, as always, the best equipment in the game. There you go. So I'm going to send it out to you this, this week. All right, buddy. All right. So that's it for another one. I want to say if things aren't picked up for you just yet. After the uh, the old situation, then keep positive. It will pick up and guarantee it. Chin up, and I'll catch you in the next one. Let me know 